Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Monette and this is my channel, Evolve with Monette. I am a professional intuitive empath and today I want to jump right into the title of this video, uh, which will be dealing with how we need to release some things. I recently had a funky little spiritual moment happen and with the work that I do, I have physical spiritual moments that happen all the time. And sometimes funky spiritual moments that happen as well. And in this moment, I had a funky spiritual moment. I had finished working with my clients on the phone and I have my little office area and I was, was getting up and I walked away and was in the kitchen going to refill my tea and I heard a noise. And I thought, what is that? Because I was in the kitchen when this noise happened. Well, something flew off of my bookshelf. And I say flew because no one was around and there was no animals around and there were no kiddos around and something flew. Upon inspection, the thing that flew was this. Do you guys see this? Pretty snazzy, huh? Not really. It's a cheap flask, but I had it on my bookshelf and I don't know why. Well, I do know why. It was a gift. It was a gift from someone I have cut out of my life many, many, many years ago. This was a significant narcissist relationship and a pivotal moment in my growth and in my career when I started to realize my own strength and power. This narcissist gave this to me when they went to Las Vegas. A little gift, a little trinket, no big deal. But I love yellow and I love sparkles and it was a gift, you know, probably something they want out of some machine or off some slot table or something. But I kept it because I just loved it. And at the time, many years ago, maybe over 10, I didn't have anything sparkly and yellow like this in my life. Well, I've since attracted many things. Uh, so you may ask, well, why is this a big deal? It flew off, you pick it up the floor, pick it up off the floor, you put it back. Well, the big deal is it fell into this precious treasure of mine, which is a crystal sounding bowl. I love this sacral chakra solar plexus rather, sacral chakra both maybe, and dealing with our self-esteem and our self-worth. Now this happened right around the time that I have been in transition with some emotional heavy shadow work and work where I have been really questioning what I deserve and figuring out my worth in a new level. Even though I thought I had conquered some levels, I was figuring out some new things. So this metal flies into this crystal bowl and the result I don't know if you can see it, was devastation for my heart. You may not be able to see it with the light, but it developed a crack. I went to pick it up to play it in therapy with a client who needed some readjustments. And I have various sounding bowls, but this one is my favorite as I am a Leo. I love yellow. I love sunshine. I love our solar plexus. I've been enhancing and working with that. So this cheap thing that I had kept on my shelf because I like sparkly yellow flew into this very expensive treasured thing that I had invested in for myself in my business and it cracked it, rendering it essentially useless beyond raising your vibration as a piece of beautiful crystal yellow glass. I thought about it and I thought, well, I could keep it there until I order another. We are in strange times, so I don't know what's going to be happening with our trucks and Amazon and the rest of it here in the next few weeks. In fact, I do have some downloads about it. I'll be sharing in another video. But I thought, I may not be able to reorder this right now, but I will repurpose this into art. I am an artist, and so this can, even though it is very expensive, Top Fund, one of my favorite brands, um, be broken up and used to make a solar plexus raising vibration. And that is kind of my jam, is making spiritually aligning art. So this, I mean, I'll have to price this accordingly, but this piece, once finished, I'll come back on and share with you, will be worth every penny. But the thing I want to talk to you about really quickly is it's so important to Marie Kondo, your soul, because... And Marie Kondo, for those of you that don't know, is a specialist who helps us to 
get rid of our stuff and helps us to identify and find joy in our things. She has a method, and I'm just lightly describing it for those of you who are complete enthusiasts and disciples, but where you go through your closet and you figure out and you touch each thing and you say, what brings me joy? This didn't bring me joy, and it was from a relationship that I'd long outgrown from long ago that no longer served me, and I never used it, not one time, but I kept it because I liked the energy. This was the false raising of the vibration with the solar plexus. This is the liquor contained that might make you feel like you're grander than you are. This is the color yellow that stimulates that solar plexus energy and the sparkly that catches your eye, but at the end of the day, it's empty. It held nothing. Here's another vessel that's empty, but holds sound. It holds memory. It holds echoes. It holds the truth. It holds realignment. It holds vibration. And because I was holding on to, sorry guys, I keep setting this heavy bowl down. <laughs> because I was holding on to this thing, it had the ability to ruin this thing. Do you see what happened? These two things collided. And because this was precious, this being broken devastated me. And I thought, why was I holding on to this thing? It has zero sentimental value for me. And that's what I mean by Marie kondo in your soul. Because if you're holding on to emotional trash, I want you to understand that you're jeopardizing your future treasure. This was my future treasure. 10 years ago, 11 years, 12 years ago, when I received this, this thing did not exist in my life. I wasn't in a healthy alignment or balance. And so I kept this as a substitute, which is also a lesson about how we grow, guys. You will evolve. You will grow. Now I have zero use for it and it will be donated just as soon as we're allowed to leave our houses as here where I am. We are officially on lockdown and quarantine with not leaving our houses for the next two weeks. So when I can, I will. But until then, over the next two weeks, I'm going to turn this negative lesson into a positive and create something beautiful. And the next time I see you and I'm holding this bowl, it will be in pieces. But it will be in pieces that are reassembled for higher vibration and alignment. It'll still do its job. It's just going to take another form. I just wanted to share that with you. Marie Kondo, your life in these coronavirus COVID-19 times. Go through your closet as I have. Revamp, throw away, go through your kitchen supplies. As a chef, I have so many, too many, so many <laughs> that I'm not using and a space not to hold them in. And I really went through and fine-tuned, but then I realized that there are relationships that we're holding on to. What are you holding on to that you think you still need, but it's trashy? And it's no longer serving you. And this thing that you're going towards in the future is like the real deal. It's like holy. It's like resonant. It's like being connected to your higher self and loving who you are. It's vibrant. It's sunshine. It's lemons. Why? Why, oh why, my friends, would you want fake sparkles when you could have real sunshine and real lemons? This is what I want to bring into your life over the next few weeks, guys. A little bit of sunshine. Is it sour sometimes? Have we had some of those sour moments? We have. But are there blossoms and opportunities for growth? There are. Is there a fruit that can be turned into a preserve and kept on the shelf for times of need and prepping like we're in now? There is. Is there a juice that can make something sweet, delicious, and refreshing? There absolutely is. Out of our sourness, we will extract the benefit, the power, the sustenance. And you only do that when you get really clear about the things that matter and deserve to have a place in your life. Marie Kondo, your soul. Get rid of the trash and really embrace and enjoy the beauty of the things you want and need in your life, but also you value. All right, guys, it's so good sharing some energy with you today. What do you need to get rid of? Who do you need to get rid of? <laughs> what is holding you back from embracing your higher self, being in alignment with your self-esteem, your solar plexus, and your inner knowing? So glad we got to share some energy today. Join me next time and we will continue to evolve together.